Hey guys, what's up? Uh, today we're going to talk about two of my, one of my favorite uh, Polaroid cameras, which is the SX7D camera, the original camera that folds. Um, here it is right here. Yeah, um, you know, earlier I did a video of my camera collection, and then uh, my first video, I'm going to talk about the uh, SX70 uh, Polaroid camera. And uh, yeah, the reason why I love this camera, it's just a really unique uh, Polaroid camera. I have like the box type too, the one that doesn't fold. And uh, this one is, this is a true camera, people. Um, it's awesome. It, it folds, so like to unfold it, you just pop it up like this. And it just comes up like this. Uh, nothing really looks like this. Um, and as a camera, it's actually pretty great as well. It's got a real glass lens, uh, so, and it has a uh, viewfinder, and also you focus it manually yourself, uh, and yeah, it shoots Polaroid uh, instant film, and gives you great, like, vintage looking images, really unique, can't get it anywhere else. <laughs> Um, the model I'm holding, holding right here is the, is the original SX-70, uh, made in 1972. You can see it's a really, for something that's made in 72, it's, it's pretty crazy. Uh, you'll, people see it today and they'll be like, hey, what, what is this? What are you holding? And then when you open it up, they always just freak out. It's pretty hilarious. But, uh, yeah, just the design of this is worth having in your collection, I think, I say. And yeah, like a it's a really amazing camera. Film goes in here. And then uh, they made many models of the XX70 uh, many late, many years later. But personally, I think the original one made in uh, 1972 is the best. Um, this one here is pretty good too. This is the uh, it looks exactly the same. This is the Alpha 1 model. Um, to the naked eye, it's exactly the same as this. From far away, you, can, you can't tell. You probably can't tell in this video. But uh, this, was, this is made in 77, a few years later after the uh, original one. And it's marked Alpha 1 on the front of it. It's um, yeah, exactly the same here got a glass lens, you, fo you focus it manually. Um, there are some subtle differences and uh, I'm going to go over that with you right now. But first, uh, let's talk about like, like taking photos with this. Um, on the side you have a release here, you press that down, the mouth opens up, film goes inside, and you close it, you just focus yourself, and you snap an image. Pretty simple. Uh, if you want to get technical, the focusing on this, you know, focuses down to ten around ten inches, so you can get pretty close to things and uh, get a good focus on it. Uh, the shutter speed on this, it's it's automatic. You only manually focus it, and you also have a a dial here, exposure compensation dial, and uh, the shutter speed it can go. There's tricks to shoot this camera so the shutter just remains open, like bulb mode. But uh, it goes up to one, 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 seven, one, one hundred and seventy-fifth, seventy-five seconds. One over one seventy-five uh, shutter speed. Uh, so pretty, it's all right. It's pretty fast. Uh, the aperture on the lens f eight and. It's a four element glass lens, like I said, it's really high quality lens optics for, especially for an instant camera, you don't see this often. Many uh, instant cameras are made with a plastic lens, but this is like uh, glass. Uh, you can take like amazing images of these, something like this. Um, I'll show you, click on my Flickr link to move on to see more pictures, or uh, uh, yeah, like the reason why these pictures are so good is because you're shooting on film that's this big. 
uh, opposed to like regular 35 millimeter film, it's like this. You're shooting tiny little little frames, and that's and because of that, your quality isn't really actually as good, and uh, uh, you can't get as a nice of a, like a depth of field as shooting something like this. This is like medium format almost, maybe even a little bit bigger. You get all that space and like a lot of detail, and the quality just goes up insane amounts. Uh, you get nicer depth of field, everything's kind of like a dreamy, uh, get that shallow depth of field. Yeah, that's one reason why these things are so great. You're shooting larger format, guys. Uh, it's pretty awesome. But uh, yeah, let's, let's, let me show you the differences in these cameras right now. Alright, so here we have a closer look at the two models, bring you guys in. Uh, here we have the Alpha 1 model and we have the regular SX-70 model. Uh, they're both closed right now, as you can see. <laughs> the main differences you can tell between the Alpha 1 and the regular SX-70 is the, um, here we have the, uh, the strap lugs. So you can actually attach a strap, a neck strap or something to the Alpha 1. You can't do that with the original SX-70. If we turn it around, um, the Alpha 1 also has a tripod mount. Uh, so you can attach this to a tripod, really awesome. Uh, original SX-70 doesn't. And I don't think you can tell in the video, but uh, these are chrome-plated materials. It's made out of chrome-plated plastic and uh, leather. Another difference between the original and the Alpha 1 is the leather is actually fake on the Alpha 1, whereas the leather on the original is it's a th it's authentic leather. Is glued on. So let's open it up. So that's the differences around the outside of the camera. When you open it up, you open it up the same way. Uh, grab it. There's grooves on the side here. Just grab it and pull up. That's how you open up the camera. And when you want to fold the camera down, there's a little arrow here. Just push back and it collapses. Um, another way to tell, obviously, when you open up the camera, it'll actually say Alpha 1 on here. Some models uh, don't say the 1, they say Alpha. On the original, you know, just says Polaroid SX-70 LAN camera, that's about it. So now that we have them opened up, um, what else is different? Um, on the original, if you can see here, sort of, on the focusing ring, or on the lens, there's a ring out here. Uh, on the original one, it's just lines, like that. On the Alpha 1 model, it's a little more unique. They give you the focusing, uh, the focusing, like, uh, nomenclature around here so it says infinity and then all the way down to one one foot and yeah the focus ring is here and then this is the exposure compensation dial so if you want your images lighter just move the dial to the lighter side if you want the images darker just move it to the darker side yeah so these are the two models I have and uh, the two of my favorite most favorite instant cameras. Uh, later on, uh, they released the SX-70 with a sonar, which is like an auto-focusing, and then there's also a various plastic body models as well. But if you guys want the best, you know, camera for your collection, get the original SX-70. But that's just my point of view. All right. Thanks.